Hello YouTubers. In this video, I am going to use remote control with this IR sensor. Let's test it first. Number 1, 2, 8, channel 100 plus. Let's build this one. The module I am using is this one. It got 3 pins. Minus on this side, plus in the middle. Signal is this side. And the other side, like this. As for the remote control, I am using this one. You can use any NEC protocol remote control. The key will be different. There will be different code. I will show you how to change the code for your remote control. The NEC protocol works like this. 9 millisecond high and 4.5 millisecond low and then 32 bits. So I am using the interrupt with the falling edge de detection. When it falls, if it is more than 8 millisecond, I take as a start. And then the data I am taking like this. 562 plus 1687, it is more than 2000 so i am taking taking if it is more more than 1700 it's one uh, 562 and 562 together it's 1100 so i am allowing if it is more than 1000 i take as a zero and then i get all the bits and the first eight bit is the address second eight bit is the logical inverse third eight bit is the command fourth eight bit is the logical inverse of the command so I take these 8 bits and I invert and compare with these 8 bits. If they are equal, so all good and we get the correct data. That's how I did. Wiring diagram is here for the sensor minus connected to ground plus connected to 3.3 .3, S connected to B11. And for the OLED, B6 connected to SCL, B7 connected to SDA, G connected to ground. 3.3 volt connector to VCC. If you don't have OLED display, you can just ignore it. We get the data in the live expression. The wiring connection is like this. Now I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. You can continue. Click System Core. Click this for the debug, select serial wire. Click RCC and for the high speed clock, select crystal ceramic resonator. Now we can click the clock configuration tab and in this area, it changes to 72 and click OK. After this one finish, we can click pin out and configuration again. Done. We can click it again. Click timers. Click timer 1. For the clock source, select internal clock. And for the configuration parameter setting, for the prescaler, change this to 71. 71. Now for the pin, select PB11 and GPIO EXTI11. Click NVIC and go below for the line 5, 15 to 10 interrupts. That's where the 11 comes. 11 is in between here. So this one we tick this one. And then select GPIO, select PB11, and mode changes to falling edge trigger detection. Interrupt with falling edge. Now we can close this one. Click connectivity, I2C1, and for the I2C, I2C. Configuration. Parameter setting, the speed mode changes to fast mode. That's all the setting. We can click save. In the description below of this video, I have provided a website link. I have provided the code there. This is the one. When you go below, 
the diagram is here, pictures are here, Q by D setting is here, we have already done just now. If you miss anything, just go through and uh, do all of them. We need to include libraries. There is five, four files we need to include. We click uh, fonts.h and we select all and copy and we go to q by de expand the core and in the include we create fonts.h file new file and in this area type fonts.h and click finish and we can click paste all of them here and we click save close in this way i am going to do very quickly fast forward the video i do the other three files go there again and go back this one done i will do these three quickly make sure this is the name of the file this one we need to put into the C file we need to put in the SRC folder. We go back. <coughs> we go back here. We have done all these four files. Now in the main.c file, we copy and paste user code begin includes these two lines that's here paste user code begin pv we copy from here these five lines there are some variables that's here we paste it and user code begin to we copy these three lines user code begin to is here and then user code begin for we copy from here until user code end for is here we copy until here there is another user code begin for and end for not don't copy all of them only this part this is for the next part copy it user code begin for is all the way down here here we paste it and we can save now what is happening here is Whenever the falling edge, if it is more than 8000, that's the start uh, pulse and we reset this one. And if it is longer time like uh, 1700 microsecond, that's a uh, high bit number one. If it is around 1000, it's a low bit zero. And then if, if it is completed, we check for the uh, error correction because the last uh, 8 bit is the logical inverted command and the second last is the command so this is the second last this is the logic last command and we invert this one we check this one for errors if all are good we get the code in temp code now what we do is we use this debug button to get the code In here normally I select debugger this one and uh, I use open OCD it will work with the original board also with the generic boards click show generate option go below reset mode is software system reset click apply and click OK now when we get this window select the live expression this one and uh, we can delete all if you have anything. 
and add a new one that is code c o d e and we make it smaller and then we run this one now we will get the live live experience whenever press the remote control this will change to the code for the relevant button if you have all a display you get the code here as well by pressing the button you get the code if you use different uh, remote control you will have the different codes write down the code for each buttons if you don't have the oled you can write down this number whenever i'm pressing and changing the button here press one button and i'm getting the different code so we write down this number and corresponding the uh, key value and then we stop it and we go to user code begin for we select from here in the sorry user code begin for in the main code we select from here and we delete the code and we put a new code and we select until here and we delete it that's empty now now we go to the website again and i have the updated code and that one i'm copy from here and uh, until the last line until here and we copy again and put it in the place this is where we deleted the code we paste it now we can save so what's happening here is and we get the code and for each case this is the code number you, you have written if you use the same uh, same remote control like me you will have the same code if it is a different remote control you have a different code and corresponding key value another code key value like this you can change it like this all the way here and uh, delete some of them if we, if we have less key if we have more key copy and paste this one in the in the end more here and you can change the code and key now we can upload the code now yeah it's all uploaded i have uploaded the code let's test it plus forward channel number two like this thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye